How are you, Kenny? Good to see you again, man. Hey, good to see you, Eli. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Now, you've worked with some major rock bands like Train and 30 Seconds to Mars. Mm -hmm. And you've also worked with greats like Stevie Wonder, who requires a lot of different playing styles from his musicians. Yes, he does. Let's talk about stick selection as it pertains to playing styles. Hey, let's talk about the selection process for playing jazz. Well, generally for jazz, you tend to choose a smaller diameter stick for a little bit less volume. You want to be able to have some finesse and control. You also want a little bit of a longer taper. That way you truly get the articulation you want and the bounce you want off your ride cymbal patterns so you can really blaze them okay. in a quiet club without overpowering your band. Okay. And one of the other elements that are really considered when you're, you're playing jazz is the smaller tip, for example, the small acorn tip. Yeah. It's going to give you a lot of articulation and a good body of sound without overwhelming the cymbal, without overwhelming the drum, and right. of course without overwhelming your band. Okay. And with regards to taper? Uh, I'm going for the long taper again okay. for more bounce, more play, and rebound. Articulation and finesse is everything in jazz. Let's talk about funk now. Uh, yeah, baby, one of my favorite styles of music to play. Now, funk requires some of the same articulation and finesse that you use in jazz music. Right. However, the fat back, the back beat, is a lot more important in funk music, so you need something with a little bit bigger diameter, mm -hmm. and perhaps, say, like a nice round tip or a bigger acorn tip. Right. They give you louder and more articulate patterns coming across the funk yeah. without sacrificing any of the finesse that you're looking for. Right, so we got a nice round tip here. We got a nice acorn tip. Yeah, and then taper really is a matter of personal preference when it comes to and how much power you need. Right. You know, if you're playing in a loud funk band, you want a shorter taper so you can take advantage of that power in your backbeat without having to kill the drum right. to get that stroke. However, if you're playing in a quieter band, maybe it might behoove you to try something with a little bit of a longer taper so you can maintain that finesse right. while still kicking it with the band. Cool. All right, Kenny, let's talk a little bit about rock. Okay, rock drumming, now that's my house at heart. Right. When I'm choosing a stick to play rock and roll, I immediately choose something with a thicker diameter because I don't want to just feel the power in my hand. I want the drum to feel the power that's coming at it. Thicker diameter is going to give you more hit on the drum. Same thing with choosing a shorter taper. It's going to give you more speed and power in your stroke. So, yeah, the throw, so you don't have to cool. sacrifice technique to play loud. You're not going to be hurting your hand. You're going to have a lot of power in your stroke. And the final element I like to discuss, for example, on this teardrop right here, is the amount of surface that is hitting the head. I want a larger tip. I want a barrel tip. I want something that's going to dig into that drum and give me a lot of surface sound. So when I play, everybody knows it. More sound is more power. More power is what you need to drive a rock band. And when you get a big tip to do that, it's on. Kenny, while we're on the subject of power, let's talk about metal drumming. Ah, uh, metal drumming, that's taking power drumming to the whole next level. Right. Most metal drummers I know need a lot of power in their sticks, so they tend to choose something with a thicker diameter, you know, 5B up, to transfer the power from their hand and their heart into the drum right. and really transfer it to the band, so they're driving the band. Generally, I tend to choose the shorter taper because you still get good speed without sacrificing any power, right. and uh, you're not going to snap a stick in half when you're playing full blast beats. Right. And the way to get around that sometimes, I see a lot of guys choose a nylon tip. Now this nylon tip right here is a lovely oval with a lot of surface. And surface contact means sound. More sound equals more power. But with the nylon, you get a little bit more brightness in your blast beat cymbal patterns. Right. And you get a little bit more rebound. So you can really drive with power without sacrificing rebound. Right. And of course, speaking of power, if you really want to add some extra power, man, weight and mass equal power and sound. And so you, I would be looking at an oak stick because mm. it's more dense more weightful and can really help you drive the band to the next level.